It's our story. Elmer Bartels and Fred Fay, Boston, Massachusetts. He was the ambassador, and he was, uh, you know, I always considered him the visionary in this disability stuff. Uh, he's the Jesus Christ of the movement, and the rest of us are uh, the disciples. You know. uh, Fred is probably Peter, and uh, I'll play James or something like that. Uh, but that, that's the way I think about it. One of the one of the things about a leader, particularly as a leadership, was his ability to articulate the vision in a credible fashion, just by his life experience and also by what he had to say. He was an incredibly charismatic speaker and leader, and really good at motivating people to to share a common vision and to work together, united to turn that vision into reality. Another area where I was really pleased with my contact with and he was such a such an eloquent speaker. Um, during the 80s and 90s I worked a lot with the Democratic Party. I chaired the Disability Advisory Committee to the DNC and we had a meeting in the White House with the President and I was able to get Ed into that meeting with Clinton and Ed was just so articulate, it was really good. But really, wherever he went, he had an amazing impact on people. And I think charisma is the best word to describe it. He just really made you feel good about him and about yourself and about being part of a community of people working toward a shared goal and a tremendous sense of satisfaction when we have victory after victory. Which was most of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Could you go further in depth about this um, when you were in the Oval Office with uh, Clinton? Yeah. How he uh, articulated, you know, his, how he crafted because William Jefferson is the yeah. master of that himself. Yeah, remind me if I got astray, but uh, um, I'd worked on the caucus campaign. In fact, going back a little bit, I was on the three member committee. The Governor asked, Governor Dukakis asked to pick the Mass Rehab Commissioner. So I helped Denver get his job there. Uh, but I worked with Dukakis via email and phone and stuff in the 80s and 90s. When he ran for president, I talked to people in all 50 states trying to get them involved in the Americans with Disabilities for Dr. Dukakis campaign. But we failed there, Bush got elected, but second time around, we got uh, a really good Democrat, Bill Clinton, in office. And I worked on the campaign there, and then I worked with oh, Debbie Fine and Mike Lux and Bill White and uh, Jonathan Young in the disability policy end of the White House and the disability constituency end of the White House. And we, I talked with the president on several occasions on different disability issues and stuff. But we tried to have periodic meetings in which we brought together the leadership from a number of different organizations to sit down with the president and talk about why the ADA was so important, why independent living movement was so important, why uh, funding for folk rehab was so important. And, uh, and it must have been around 93 or 94, uh, we had a large meeting in Washington. I was on all these calls by speakerphone, but uh, we got Ed into the room and uh, he got some few minutes of private, relatively private time with the uh, president. I wish I had the, I may have some notes on our Justice for All email network from those meetings. Justin Dart, who we worked real close with, um, even though he was a Republican, um, he was became very influential with the administration. And Justin would do a really good job of writing up our meetings with the president, acknowledging everybody who was there and thanking everybody for their participation. And uh, like Ed, uh, Justin was really able to motivate folks. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.